Hey guys, my name is The Algorithmic Trader, and I'm here to teach you my price action concepts that will make you a better trader. So stick around for the video, like, subscribe, and enjoy. I believe price and the markets are manipulated by algorithms and banks to either offload their positions or to move prices um, to price objectives. Um, this is all done by using liquidity um, by retail traders that basically are induced into positions either long or short and when they are price usually reverses so that's what I always look out for that's how I base my strategy liquidity is simply resting limit orders that are put there because of multiple reasons you have accumulation so prices in a range, you might have limit orders at the top of the range, you might have limit orders at the bottom of the range, there's a lot of accumulation so price doesn't move much, that creates liquidity. So you have support and resistance where price is likely to bounce off of, so people will put limit orders there um, as stop losses below those areas, and people will usually go longer short off of there. Uh, swing points, pivots, these are all areas of liquidity where anyone would have a resting stop or anyone would take trade long or short. Now right here is the perfect example of a good liquidity level. As you can see, price bounced off of here multiple times and accumulated around this area and made it seem like a uh, decently stronger support, right? We had like especially that huge kind of spike out of here that makes it seem like there's a lot of buyers to be found here, right? And so when price comes back down here, you know what's really interesting? It takes out this support or liquidity and what does it do it goes down drawing traders into short positions and traders right here might have gone long so they're also they're also selling at a very low price traders here are selling at a low price uh, uh, because they're being induced into positions that are frankly not suitable and stop losses from these long positions are also getting stopped out so it's more sellers here at a low price now price goes back up it does a fake rally comes back down and finally it grabs enough stops and we're off we're literally we, we're off bam a good price after that this would this would be a good price target as you can see a lot of liquidity accumulation here and even here's a good example as you can see kind of held eventually consolidated above here, took out some stops, and bam, we came back all the way back down here. So the idea is think outside of what you're taught. This is not magic. This is not some big fancy idea. It's this simple. Think the opposite of what your every intuition is, right? Your intuition is to go along here. We're at support, right? We, we come back above, we wick down, we come back above, right? It looks really good bullish. People buy here, put stops here, take um, market makers and algorithms, they take these stops. These are their stops, right? So you have people selling short, sellers right here, and people taking short positions here. So you're selling low to algorithms and market movers who want to buy low so people are uh they're buying this up low right so they can reverse price buy low so high this is literally it right here this is it this in itself is huge for you as a trader because now you look at price completely differently um this is how i develop my strategies with this idea I stop thinking, oh, um, for example, this is a good support area. I'm going to take it long just because it touched support. I want to think outside of that. I don't want to be so complex in my own ideas that I forget basic price action. But I want to think that way. I want to think, what do the 90% not do? And this is it right here. Now, in future videos, I'm going to be talking about how I use these ideas. Obviously, this in itself is amazing for teaching you how I take long and short positions. This is how you can do it, too, effectively. But I want to explain strategies with this. 
the best the best confirmation for these liquidity grabs is just straight just straight buying after this so for example right here i will take the position after it not only breaks back above but i want to see it come back down retest and be able to hold okay so right here for example it held it went up but then it tanked so i want to see a 50 minute candle confirmation of a hold and then a 15 ca candle confirmation of continuation so right here for example it held but then it has this really bearish candle so i don't want to take that long it held but it has this also very bearish candle it has a lot of buyers stuck out here comes back down rallies and look at this we have it bearish we have a bullish and then this candle right here the way it holds at a higher price and it and it's very it's a relatively neutral candle because it doesn't have a lot of wick on either side i like that okay i like both of these candles because for example this candle bearish this is an extremely bullish candle right here it completely engulfs the previous candle and it is a strong rally with just it, it shows a lot of buying pressure so i like that this is where i might take my long position maybe on the next candle on smaller time frames you can see what i'm talking about about this price action right here this is the candle i was talking about see how it was getting smaller and smaller obviously you couldn't see that on the 15 minute but see like right here it looks nice but then it dumps and then it rallies and then it, like, there's just no continuation past this high but as you can see here it it breaks the high it comes back and it holds this large green area which i mean i guess i could call it a fair value gap and it rallies rapidly out of here we just don't see any price continuation here you will become adept at learning how to trade these patterns on your own but you need to spend time in the charts learning this for yourself um, and that's all for today um, about kind of the idea and my idea of liquidity and how to use it for my trading and signing off for now but make sure to follow like subscribe join the discord that's down in the description and i'll see you in the next one